Hi everyone, welcome back to the more YouTube channel. It's Chris back with a match preview for Newcastle United's upcoming game in the Champions League at the Parc de Princes against PSG in the group of death in the Champions League. Yes, the games are coming thick and fast. We've only just had a minute or two to enjoy the Chelsea win and we're back in Champions League action. So we're going to get stuck right into this, talk about how I think the lads are going to line up, talk a bit about the game and a little bit about what we think the result may or may not be. Just before we do, a little reminder, if you haven't already, please click subscribe. We'd love you to come and join us. We are closing in on 6K. I'd love 6K for Christmas. I keep asking for it. All I want for Christmas is 6K. So smash that button, guys. Help get us there. Loads of content for your free of charge and ever more. But if you do fancy being a member and giving a little bit back to the channel to help us bring you this great content, there is a membership option there as well, which is less than two quid a month. So smash that button and why not check us out? So as I say, PSG, we are heading over to Paris. What a brilliant away trip for the brilliant Traveling Toon Army as well to go on. Great city, beautiful city. You know, Champions League, Stalwarts really. You know, had some of the world's best players playing for them. Arguably has the world's best player playing for them now. They got battered at St. James's Park, just like Chelsea did the weekend, 4-1. But I saw them this weekend against Monaco. They absolutely smashed Monaco, 5-2. And a game very similar to ours against Chelsea, really. Uh, defensively, Monaco were all over the place, to be fair. Um, they were all in the action, and Batbe got a penalty um, Gonzalo Ramos scored um, Dembele was sensational he took his goal so well as well so they looked like they were purring and ready for this game to PSG they're sitting top of league on and Mbappe got his 14th goal of the season so they're going at this game probably with a little bit more confidence than, than maybe the last one but I also think they're going to go into this game with a bit more respect for Newcastle United than they had in the home game I think they rocked up to St James's Park and they thought these are shit these are brand new, the Champions League. We'll batter these. And they got totally engulfed by the atmosphere and blown away by Eddie Howe's magpies. And I don't think the same thing will happen again. However, at the weekend, the two goals that Monaco scored did show that you can get at PSG. Uh, Donnarumma made a horrendous mistake when he got pressed by the Monaco attack. We're all about the press. And then a little bit of pace got him behind for the second goal as well. So they can be got at. We have pace. We have dangerous players that can get at them as well. So this will be an interesting game to see, obviously, how that group is going to play out. So how do I think the lads are going to line up? I don't really have much of a choice, to be brutally honest with you. This is how I think we're going to line up, which is exactly the same way we lined up against Chelsea at the weekend. I mean, the only thing I can really see happening with this one would be potentially if um, Sean Longstaff can shake off that injury that he has and maybe comes into the starting lineup ahead of Louis Miley. But Louis Miley was so good at the weekend. And I think Eddie Howe's confidence in the young man, and I think him, Bruno and Joe Litton work so well. Yes, Chelsea were below par, but they work so well as a midfield three. I don't see any reason why he wouldn't do this and why he wouldn't go uh, with the same starting eleven. I mean, Lewis Hall is available uh, once again, as he was uh, obviously uh, ineligible to play against Chelsea. So arguably, you could say that Lewis Hall might come back into the lineup. I think Tino filled in so well at left back. Can't see any real changes in that one at all. Really, the only one for me really would be Longstaff, possibly in the midfield. We've lost Joe Willick through injuries, obviously out for God knows how long now with that reoccurring Achilles, which is a bit of a nightmare. So the midfield really can only change, I think, if Sean Longstaff declares himself fit. But given the fact that Miley played so well that we're going to think he'll keep his place, maybe Sean will be on the bench potentially. But you can see that's a strong front line, I think, as I said there, with pace. You know, the two goals that PSG conceded, keeper getting pressed and hurried, um, you know, pace at the back. Those three players up there are all about pace. Isaac looked great coming back into the lineup, I think, against Chelsea. It was great to see him there. You know, he had a decent run, took his goal really well. You know, that sharpness will, will hopefully return and he might look a little bit more dangerous against PSG. He went off quite early, I think, um, in the Dortmund game at home when we got beaten. You could tell we were missing him because even when Wilson came on, he wasn't quite the same player. Isaac offers you that threat, that speed in behind the uh, the PSG back line. So I think I think that we could we could definitely have a go at them in this one. I really do. Um Gordon obviously has been electric this season, been sensational. Miggy's come back, looks like he's never missed a step. You know, so I think our front three could cause PSG some real trouble. The midfield three, I think, will be uh, will be key as midfields are key in, in all games, really. But in terms of you know how kind of PSG may line up in, in their midfield, I think they've had a few injury knocks as well, to be honest with you. I think the young lad who uh, looked good against us at St. James's Park as at Warren Zaire Emery, who looked like the only decent player who even turned up in that 4-1 drubbing uh, at St. James's Park. He, uh, he's he been injured, um, so he's not going to be able to play in this game in terms of their other injuries as well. I think Mark Marquinhos at the back has got a hamstring problem as well. 
Um, I think is it Pereira's out as well. Um, but obviously the you know the, the big players are back there, Dembele, Ramos, Mbappe, they're all going to be in involved in the game, really. You know, and I think in terms of their lineup, you know, a bit of a of a lineup of PSG. So I'm maybe going to go with Donnarama, uh, Hakimi, uh, Skriniar, who I think we were linked to, is a real tough, no nonsense centre half. Hernandez. Is it Mukili Ruiz Ugarte? Who's a right little shit house? He'll be getting stuck in and around Miley, I'm sure, trying to give the young lad a kick. Uh, uh, is it Venita who scored a great goal against Monaco, curling it off the post? Then Dembele, Ramos, and Mbappe will be there from three. But I do think that the lads can can hang with them. I really do. I think um, I think we've defended really well. I think Lascelles has come in and done an excellent job. Fabian Share, they look good for the rest. I think the international break rest has really helped us. You know, the game of the weekend. We, we weren't great, but we didn't have to be great. And I think it was a good game in preparation for PSG because nobody really burnt themselves out in that game. It wasn't a relentlessly high pressing game from Newcastle. We didn't have to be like that because Chelsea was so shit and laid down so bad in the second half. It was almost a perfect game for us and a perfect game for PSG against Monaco, who are very much the same, I think, as well. So this will be a really interesting game to see how this is going to play. In terms of the, the group itself, the, the group of death, the F. So we're sitting bottom of the group on four points at the minute. Milan are on five, PSG themselves on six, and Dortmund on seven. So so we could win this game. We could push ourselves up to you know to second in the group, depending on how the other results go as well. Uh, in that game between Dortmund and Milan. So so it's all to play for Newcastle on out of this group by any stretch whatsoever. You know, we have a chance to to stay in this group to progress in the knockouts, but we need to win this game. To do that, do I think we're going to win? It's a real tough one, to be honest with you. A real tough one. Um, I think PSG will want revenge. And I think in the Parc de France as well, they'll, they'll really step it up. I think the fans will demand it. And I think we'll see a much different PSG than we did in the home game. Um, I think we're going to have to weather that storm a bit. I think we're going to have to defend very well. But that 11 that we've just had up there, I think, especially in the fullback areas where you'll have Dembele and Mbappe pulling off either side, I think, between Libramento with his pace and his recovery ability, and Trippier, who looked back to his best uh, against Chelsea as well on, on, on Saturday. And we've got a really good chance uh, to, to to defend well against these guys and, and maybe get a draw, maybe ones each, or possibly nick a 2-1 win. But I'm going to say one each one each draw. 1-1 one, one draw is what I'm going to go for. For Newcastle, I'm going to try and stay positive with it. I think we can get out of the Parc de France with a, with a draw, um, and then hopefully you know, the, the next home game, um, against AC Milan, we can maybe win that and, and look to do something in the group. But let us know in the comments what you guys think about the game. How, how do you think the lineup is as well? Do you think it makes some changes in terms of uh, maybe sure long staff coming in, or would that just be the team that you'd stick with, the one that dismantled Chelsea at the weekend? We always like to hear from you guys. Smash a comment in. We always like to engage with you as well. If you take the time to comment, we'll take the time to reply. As I mentioned at the start, if you haven't already, consider subscribing. We'd love you to come and join us. Smash whichever button suits you. It's all free content. Uh, but if you do fancy giving back to the channel, there is a membership option there as well. Smash whichever one that you want to smash up. And we will we will be back with a, a post-match review as well Tuesday night after Newcastle United hopefully get a great result against PSG at the Parc de France. Come and check it out, guys. Have a cracking day wherever you are. And we'll see you later. Cheers.